Last week, we were discussing a strong versus weak currency to watch for the week ahead. In this video, we're going to do exactly the same. So this time, we're going to check out New Zealand US dollar. So here in front of me, you can see I've got the strength meter. We do feature this in our week ahead analysis videos every Monday morning. So if you do want to go and visit those, just head over to our YouTube channel and you can see that. But basically, the currency strength meter this week is telling us that the US dollar remains a fairly strong currency and that we've got the New Zealand dollar gaining or sorry, losing strength. Now, previously on the New Zealand dollar, it was around about the plus five, plus six area and it has dipped lower. You can actually see this on the strength meter so the gold color that you see on the strength meter there that is the new zealand dollar and you can see that it's been tracking down over a period of time the us dollar is at plus five so you've got that sort of divergence between the two currencies you've got new zealand dollar as a weakening currency the us dollar as a strengthening currency so basically we want to be looking at new zealand us dollar for potential opportunities now what we're going to do in this video is i'm going to show you how i would break that chart down on metatrader 5 so if you do use the metatrader 5 platform then this is what we'll be using today so if we have a little look at new zealand us dollar the first thing i want to do is go on that weekly chart i want to identify key areas of support and resistance and i do that just by using my rectangle tool i'm going to just find areas where the market has very visibly moved from and to so first thing i'm going to start off is the low here i can see that price came into this area down here which is around about the 55 50 handle and it bounced we had a large move to the upside that's very clear and obvious now you can mark these up if you want to get a price label you can just stick a price label on there uh, i'm just going to turn that to a different color and you can just type in 550 click ok and you can add a price label to that just to make it more visual on metatrader platforms the only problem and downside to metatrader platforms is we can't really change the scales on the right hand side of the chart so unfortunately we can't make that bigger so what we can do to help ourselves is use those type of labels the second thing is i want to identify again what are the highs that we're working with at the moment i do also like to look at current sort of price so i can see that there's some highs developing around about this area through here but i'm just marking the bodies of the candles and the wicks of the candlesticks there and then i, I grab my cursor tool you can press the middle of your mouse or you can come up and click this button up here the crosshair tool and then you can just highlight a bit of an area so it's around about the zero spot six handle all the way up to the zero spot six zero fifty so i would mark that out as zero spot six zero twenty five so if i just grab that in there and all i can do is come into here type in 25 click ok and you can see i've got that noted on my chart now now what i do then is i dive a little bit lower i want to see what price is doing on a daily context okay so we can see price came into that level it's driven to the downside here i can see that price is finding some support in here and we've also again got some lows just through there so what i'm going to do is highlight those lows because obviously they were important and price has recently kind of retraced to those lows and rejected so that area there again just grab your cross hair tool and that area is around about the zero spot 5850 up to the zero spot 5885 so again grab your label sorry got an itchy nose uh grab your label and then we're going to go zero spot 58 and we're just going to go 75 on that one i like to use sort of quarter numbers half numbers whole numbers when i'm doing this type of analysis um just so it makes it easy as well to tell you guys a number and it's quite memorable in my head then as well now you can see here we've got a bit of a cluster so there's not too much more we can do on this daily time frame so i'm going to go even lower i'm going to go to the four hour time frame now this is where you can do something a little bit different we can mark out the highs using the trend line tool so if you want to use the trend line tool here and what i do is then i'm going to mark some of the wicks out that have been kind of support and resistance most recently and what i'm actually looking at is the wicks where price is at at now really because it's obviously a strong level of support and resistance so first ones i'm going to mark out are these ones over here we can see that price obviously came into that level and what i, what I try to do with these is just try and get them uh, level you can see it 
um, by giving it the same price. So basically, if we come into parameters, it says 59 there. I'm just going to take it to 58, 59, and it gives me that sort of level trend line. All I'm going to do then on my keyboard is click control and drag, and I'm going to drag it to the highs there because what I'm trying to do is mark out essentially this zone where price has come in and sellers have also come into the market, okay? Now, again, I'm gonna try and do that with sort of lower highs because with market is in a downward trend and I'm actually gonna mark out this zone that price is currently in. You can see if I zoom right into price action here, that price came into that level recently, we rejected and price is back now in that level. So what I'm kind of thinking to myself is, the currency strength meter is saying that we should be looking for some potential downside in the New Zealand US dollar um, chart. We're currently in a downward trend. The market formed a double top here. It moved to the downside. So this area there, really important to us. Price has then come back higher. What has it done? It's retested in and around that neckline of that double top. So again, I've just marked out the highs and the bodies of that because what I want to look for is any kind of trading patterns in here to suggest that price could start moving to the downside. So if we've marked the highs, we now need to sort of mark the lows. So I'm going to drag my uh, point to here and then I'm also going to do this as well. And this just creates a little bit of a zone for me down in this area. So I know for, for instance, there is a potential that if we do get the right parameter setting up, that I could look for a potential opportunity from here down to here initially, okay? If we trade through that zone, then I can expand out and look where's the next point of interest. And the next point of interest is down at that level around that zero spot 5550 that we've mentioned in the past. So that's what I'm looking for here on New Zealand US dollar. Now, obviously, creating these zones also helps us with a bias if we are wrong. So if price trades above this level, closes above it, I know that the market isn't seeing this level as a resistance anymore. So I can delete these levels and look for the next point of resistance, which is up here towards that zero spot, 58.75 that we marked out previously. If price trades through that, then there's other opportunities. We've got these highs within this overall area, all I know is that this is a daily resistance zone or even a weekly slash daily resistance zone. So there's a good strong resistance at this point where price might want to trade lower from. So let's go see if there's any kind of trading patterns developing here. I'm going to go into an hourly time frame. I can see that there are some kind of uh, build up or accumulation coming in here because price has moved into our zone of interest and we've just gone sideways. We've tried to breach the high of it. It hasn't happened. We've actually formed a bit of a pin candle. If you've seen the pin versus engulfing candle, uh, video, then you'll be knowing that that is a potential opportunity to see price trade to the downside here. So that's a good sign. What If you want to dive in a little bit lower and get a little bit more technical, you can start going into sort of your 30 minutes, your 15 minutes, and start looking for visible trading patterns, that being the double top, the head and shoulders, things like that. I'm going to go to a 15 minute here. We can't see anything that I would suggest is a double top. We were getting like a sort of triple top development there. Uh, that's that sort of trident to breach to the upside. But what I can see is that obviously we're accumulating in here. So what I would say to myself is, it's not hugely convincing that sellers are getting involved here at the moment, but if we were to create a new low and then look for maybe the lower high back in a similar sort of zone, then that could be the opportunity to see price trade down into this low in here and then trade down into those swing lows. So. That's how you break down a chart using MetaTrader 5. We're breaking down New Zealand US dollar. We're doing that because of our analysis on the currency strength meter. So there's a potential to see the New Zealand dollar continue its weakness going into this week. There's also lots of high impact data this week and sometimes the market can move and shift into a little bit of risk off which would benefit a downside move on New Zealand US dollar. So hopefully that makes sense. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.